1 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Hassan Gilani. First, the headlines. Iranian President visit the Museum of National Poet Alama Dr. Muhammad Iqbal in Lahore today and laid floral wreath. Prime Minister has taken notice of deliberate delay in tax cases. Finance Minister says country's foreign exchange reserves are expected to hover between 9 to 10 billion dollars by the end of this fiscal year. Pakistan has signed an agreement with Saudi Arabia and Uzbekistan for promotion of investment. And now the news in detail. President of Iran, Dr. Sayyid Ibrahim Raisi, arrived in Lahore today. Chief Minister Maryam Nawaz, members of the provincial cabinet and higher authorities accorded a warm welcome to the distinguished guests at the airport. Later, the Iranian president visited the mausoleum of national poet Alama Dr. Muhammad Iqbal. He laid floral wreath on the mausoleum and offered Fatiha. Speaking on the occasion, Iranian president said Alama Muhammad Iqbal's poetry played the role of a bridge in Pakistan-Iran bilateral relations. He said both countries enjoy strong brotherly relations which will be strengthened with the passage of time. Ibrahim Raisi extended greetings from Iranian supreme leader to the people of Pakistan. He said that he has felt at home during the ongoing visit. He praised Pakistan's principal stand about the Gaza situation. Khatib of historical but Shahi Mosque, Maulana Abdul Khabir Azad, sought special prayers for strengthening of Pakistan bilateral relations, besides for the Muslims of Gaza. Later, the Iranian president, while writing his comments in the visitor's book, paid rich tributes to Alama Muhammad Iqbal's literary work. Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif has taken notice about deliberate delay in tax cases. According to a statement released by the Prime Minister's office, he has suspended the Chief Commissioner Inland Revenue Islamabad and other concerned officers and ordered an inquiry. The Prime Minister said he is personally monitoring the reforms in the tax system as per the promise made to the people. He emphasized the need for working tirelessly to save every penny of the country and increase the revenue. Finance Minister Mohammad Aurangzeb says countries' foreign exchange reserves are expected to hover between 9 to $10 billion by the end of this fiscal year. Addressing the inaugural session of the 7th Leaders in Islamic Business Summit in Islamabad today, he said at present the foreign exchange reserves stand at $8 billion. He said the last tranche from IMF under standby arrangement will take the foreign exchange reserve to over $9 billion. The Finance Minister also expressed satisfaction over the bumper crops, saying the agriculture is growing by 5%. Mohammad Aurangzeb said stock market is also at all-time high and foreign buyers are also coming in the market. The finance minister said the government has initiated discussion with the IMF for a larger and longer program in order to bring permanence in the macroeconomic stability and ensure execution of structural reforms agenda. Finance minister said government is working to attract foreign direct investment in the country. Pakistan, Saudi Arabia and Uzbekistan have signed an agreement for promotion of investment. Under this partnership, the investors and businessmen in the three countries will be provided with the necessary assistance and guidance. Punjab Chief Minister Maryam Nawaz Sharif has granted approval for the establishment of the Provincial Enforcement Authority in Punjab. Chairing a meeting in Lahore today, she said enforcement authorities will be established in every district and tehsil of Punjab. She said Chief Secretary will head the Provincial Enforcement Authority and a Director General will also be appointed. Repatriation of illegal foreign nationals, including Afghans, to their homeland is continuing in a dignified and safe manner. According to latest statistics, 7,041 more illegal Afghan nationals returned to their country over the last 10 days. So far, 542,981 illegal Afghans have been repatriated to Afghanistan. The third one-day international of three-match series between Pakistan women and the West Indian women will be played in Karachi today. The match will start at 3.30 in the afternoon. 
And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, visit our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistan newsofficial.